Hey everyone, this is Benny Lewis here from Fluent in Three Months, and it's time that I announce my next language mission, isn't it? So I am talking to you today from Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan, and I'm going to be living here for the next three months as I attend to learn Mandarin. So, um, now the, the main question people would ask, of course, is what do I mean by fluency? So I want you to have a look at this. These are six of the levels that we have in the European Common Framework, um, which allows us to specify proficiency level. And it's an examination system that I've gone through myself several times. Uh, I'm not planning to sit an exam, to, but to give you a general idea, uh, basically um, the C2 level is a professional level. This is what I would have in Spanish and French and a couple of others where I've actually worked as an engineer in these languages um, and I could do absolutely everything that I would be able to do in English in those languages. Uh, I'm not going to aim for that in Mandarin, I'm going to aim for C2, C1 level. So C1 level will be um, uh, <coughs> what I'm going to call a conversational fluency. So rather than a professional level of fluency, I want a social level of fluency in the language. Uh, I want to be able to participate in situations where there be many people and be able to keep up with the conversation, make sure they don't have to slow down and not use slang for my benefit, and I can have uh, deep conversations about general topics, not something too technical, but uh, general topics with, um, with anybody, and I'll be able to have friends in the language, which for me is, uh, is the most important thing, um, because when you consider fluency, for me, that's, that, that comes from the stem of the word, that it's flowing. So I'm not going to hold up the conversation. I'm not going to slow it down. I won't be hesitating to a major level. And that's what I'm aiming for. Okay? Um, maybe you, you don't agree with my definition of conversational fluency. That's fine, but that's so you know what I want to get after the end of the three months. Um, now, uh, I think ma the major challenges here will be uh, the tones of the language. I had some superficial exposure to this with Thai and um, I think that might give me a, a small edge but it's still going to be a lot of work and that's fine and I think the major thing people are going to be asking me about is the reading and writing system that they have um, for Chinese with the different symbols and uh, that they use so uh, check this out these three symbols um, as you can see, um, you might not, you wouldn't be able to recognize what they mean. This isn't actually uh, the kind of Chinese I'll be learning. This is what they use in mainland China. It's what's known as simplified Chinese. Now, if you take these symbols and change them so they look like that, this is the kind of Chinese I have to learn. The traditional Chinese writing system. Uh, so yes, it is definitely going to be a major part of the challenge. But uh, once again, to be specific, I don't intend to, to read newspapers and the like. I do want to have a very useful level of being able to read this language. So all those signs you just saw there in the street, I'll be able to understand them. Right now, I don't have a clue what they say. Um, I'll be able to read menus, and uh, if, if you give me a newspaper, I'll be able to get the gist of what the article is talking about. Definitely understand the, the headline at least. So that, that kind of thing, so a useful level, because without being able to read, uh, I'd basically be illiterate, and that would not let me function well uh, entirely within, the, uh, within society. Uh, but it's still not my priority. My priority is speaking. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, so instead of seeing these traditional symbols, I'm mostly going to be learning them like this. That's uh, the pinyin writing system. Um, and I don't really intend to write Chinese because, to be honest, I don't write in English or in French or Spanish. I use the computer and I write text messages. And the way you do that in Chinese is very different to how you would write on paper. That actually uses a system similar to the, the pinyin. Uh, so I will be able to actually send text messages in Chinese to people. Um, so I hope all of this has somehow given you a general idea of what I'm aiming for. Uh, what's important is too many people aim for some kind of a perfect level or they, def they define fluent as, as being equivalent to bilingual, which I think is very wrong. 
Um, I have a very specific idea of what I like to aim for. Um, and I think that's going to help me. And it's very, it's still, uh, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be an adventure. I don't know if I'll, if I'll achieve it. I'm going to try my best. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun. And that's, the, that's for sure. I'm going to make some really cool friends here. I'm going to have a unique experience. It's going to be intense. But I'm confident that I can learn fluent Mandarin in three months. To see how I do that, just subscribe and uh, of course I've, I've done this in a few other languages, I've explained the, the process involved uh, in the Speak From Day One video course combined with the language hacking guide, the book I wrote about it. So if you're really curious about how the whole process works, just check those out. But otherwise, follow along the blog and I'll explain specifically for Mandarin uh, what I'm doing over the next uh, few months to help me reach this level. And even within a week or two, I'm actually going to maybe show you my, uh, my small apartment entirely in Mandarin. Uh, that would be a scripted video, so, you know, it's not going to be a spontaneous conversation. But at the end of the three months, I'm going to interview a native, and it will be spontaneous. It will be on camera, I'll share it with the world, and you can see how far I did. I don't know if I will reach that level of fluency. This is not a promise, it's an objective. And I would encourage you as well to aim for something really high in your objectives rather than just improve my level or speak the language. Aim for something specific in a specific time and speak it from day one. This is day one of my three month mission to, to speak Mandarin and I'm going to start speaking right now. So thanks for watching, leave a comment and uh, subscribe to join along in the journey and you'll see how I do.